All right, so welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about MHD tuning. So MHD tuning is a software which you can download to either your Android device. Used to be only Android, now you can actually have it for your iOS. So they got different softwares available. They got tuning for the N54, N55E, which is the hybrid, uh, F-Series N55, F-Series S55, F-Series B58, F-Series N13, which I believe is the, the 328. Since I have an F30, I'm choosing the F-Series N55. So you got different purchasing options. You got the MXT Flasher, which is 249. Then you have the MXT N55 Map Packs, which is $99. Or you can just buy the MXT Super License, which is $449. So if you got big baller money, go ahead. I also suggest you get the N55 Monitor Module, which is $99. That can pretty much give you access to all the, the gauges. You can check your boost, you can run logs and do all that good stuff. Another thing you're going to be needing if you're going to tune your car is going to be this decan cable. Let me show you real quick. So this cable right here is uh, it connects to the the ODB2 in the car, and you're also going to need this USB adapter to micro USB, which connects to the the tablet, of course. So I'm basically going to just take you through the whole process of tuning your car. Just go ahead and open up the app. Here we got the the home menu. If you're going to be flashing your car for the first time. You want to make sure that you actually have like a, a battery charger. So once you have it connected to the car, you can turn accessory mode on. Make sure your AC is not running. Turn off your other lights. Click tune. Click flash. MHD map. This doesn't matter. It's just asking if you want to use this cable for this app. I'm currently running a stage two plus tune with the E30. So you got different stages. Stage one, stage two, and of course. For each and different stage, you want to make sure that you have the proper bolt-ons for your cars. Uh, for stage one example, you don't really need to have bolt-ons, but it would help. So this is for stock cars usually. Um, not too much boost, and you have stage two. It says you should have upgraded downpipes. It's recommended, as that will definitely help the, the flow of the turbo. And then you have stage two plus. Upgraded downpipes from our intercooler, which is upgraded. What the hell? Is that the pizza man? The pizza man here? Okay, anyway, so where was I? Yeah, so uh, stage two plus tuning, that's where I'm at. So I'm gonna go ahead and flash it for you guys. Connecting DME, it's gonna it's gonna take some time to connect to it. Shouldn't take too long. Let's see, run a map. So since I've tuned my car before, the computer's already familiar with it, or the DME's already familiar with the tune. So it would only take two minutes to, to rewrite something, but there's also different options in here. You got your exhaust verbal, Linear throttle mapping, OEM catted downpipes, like different options. Move top speed, V max limiter, of course, I did that. So, this one right here says minimum speed. Basically, if you're at zero miles per hour, if you put your car in neutral or if it's in park and you rev your engine and you have it in sport mode, it will still have the, the burble going on. Uh, cold noise start reduction, that one's pretty nice. If you live in a neighborhood like mine, uh, see exhaust flap always open in sport mode. Setup roar, I like that. You can actually tune the, the gears to how you want, but I don't really mess with that. I like having max power every gear. Let's see, hardware support, T map sensor OEM, ignition coils, precision race. I got OEM. All right, let's go ahead and flash it. Let's go back and let's go ahead and write the map. And they also say when you're tuning your car to plug in your seatbelt. Um, honestly, that doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and do it. It's connected. So the first thing you notice when you are flashing a car, you're going to have a whole bunch of engine codes thrown at you on the dash. That's completely normal. It's going to happen. It's just going to do its thing. At the end of uh, the tuning, it's going to go ahead and clear all the codes for you. So don't need to worry about that. So see, it's going to take five minutes. It's going to take that long. I'm just go ahead and fast forward to the to the end. All right, we're gonna test drive the car. Let's see how it drives. Hold me, boys. Yeah. 
What is that sound? I can't, I can't figure it out. Okay, so another thing you're gonna notice right away is after you tune your car, if you have these gauges, it's gonna change it to read 480 in the power and 560 in the torque. So that's another thing you're gonna notice. So Ghost pushed it, huh? I think so. Oh shit, we missed my turn. Back up real quick. Dude, it's even faster in reverse, bro. <laughs> That's pretty quick. You see that video of that Audi racing the Honda in reverse and it beat him? No way. <laughs> about MHD tuning. I'm sure I'll figure out what's going on with my car. But yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned till next time. See you guys later.